So any long range shooter knows that it's important to know what your average muzzle velocity is so you can predict an accurate trajectory on that. Uh, for extreme range shooting, knowing your average muzzle velocity is even that much more important. Um, to measure muzzle velocities, I use lab radars. Um, it's, a, it's a relatively new technology. It's, it's really easy to set up compared to the old optical style chronographs. I use two of them with uh, extended battery packs. Um, the, they like to eat batteries otherwise. A lot of the, your success in using the lab radar is going to have to do with its setup. Uh, you got to find a, a way that you can mount them that they'll stay pretty stable because when you shoot, sometimes, especially with the muzzle brake, it kind of moves them around and that's when you'll get um, inaccurate readings. But if they're on a stable platform, they're out of the muzzle blast, I still use two of them because I'm a ballistician and I'm anal about measuring muzzle velocity. So having two, if they agree, I have high confidence in the number. If they disagree by a few feet per second, um, that tells me that one of them might not be aligned perfectly. And if they disagree by a lot, then something's wrong and I won't trust the data. But with these, you know, I have them on these Manfrotto swivel heads, so they're, you know, real easy to align with the target. It's a TS pod is the name of those little tripods. And these all fold up into like a brief, uh, briefcase style size case. So, you know, with just one, one little bag, I'm carrying two chronographs to the range and I can get muzzle velocities from any setup that I want to do and know the numbers and also the confidence in the numbers because I'm measuring it twice.